Here we are taking OG Dog for a walk. Here we are taking OG Dog for a walk in this nice, lovely fall weather with the fallen leaves. While she explores. I realize it has been a while since I vlogged um, for really no reason and then my phone broke so I had to get it fixed and I don't know how long it's gonna last because this fix seems sketchy um, because first of all they didn't have the right screen and I had to order the right screen and the back cover um, is not fully stuck on and the phone is just slower than usual or that it was before it broke. Um, so I'm just trying to transfer all my information and stuff that I have on the phone onto a thumb drive just so that way I can go through what's important and all that. And um, yeah. As you may have noticed, I may look slightly different. I did chop off my hair. I was planning on shaving it off. But my mom did think that I may not enjoy that. And this is doing pretty well for me so far in the sense of freedom. I think it's not weighing my hair down. And I think I may be balding here because of having my hair tied up so much. And now that I can't even tie it up, it's um, not feeling heavy and not getting tangled and not getting matted. Because, you know, I'm depresso espresso, I don't brush my hair for like a week. And things like that. So it's, I think it's been beneficial. Um, and I am starting to take the girls on regular walks. I did start this week trying to take them each on a walk individually because together I cannot. Um, unless my mom is with me. And we haven't done that yet because I ordered new leashes because the one we have is this one, this dangerous stringy one and Roxy gets all tangled up in it and she makes Coca get all tangled up in it and I don't want them to accidentally get amputated. Ugh, dead bird, dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. Oh no. Speaking of dead birds, um, I am aware that the bird flu is now going around in the U.S. And so it's probably going around here. I looked it up and they have found 800 uh, seals or sea lions or whatever that were dead from bird flu that they had to bury. Um, so I'm assuming that it's still going around and plus I live near the beach so it wouldn't surprise me if there were birds. But that was a pigeon. Um, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there were seagulls with bird flu. And because we're near the beach, I'm sure the pigeons may have bird flu. There have been no reports of it yet. I'm keeping an eye on it. But it's freaking me out. So, yeah. Trying to keep the girls away from dead birds. Or from any birds. I've stopped buying eggs. Um... Regarding the dairy, I don't know if the U.S. dairy thing is going to affect it here. But I don't know if the U.S. imports dairy here or what. Um, and I've also seen that uh, pasteurization inactivates the virus. So I'm just trying to keep a close eye on everything and be super careful. I'm buying ultra-pasteurized milk right now. And even then I'm going to try and get rid of that. Um... Well, at least for myself, because my mom is addicted to coffee and she needs her milk for her coffee. Um, what else? What else was I saying about bird flu? I'm worried. I'm very concerned from what I'm reading. It's probably going to be the next big pandemic. But because everyone was so sick of COVID, they're not going to care. They're not going to take care of anything, even though this one has a 52% mortality rate. Which, um... 
even scarier than COVID. Uh, especially now that everyone's immune systems are weakened because of the COVID. Um, chicken. Right, I was going to talk about chicken because we're still eating chicken for now. And I assume that cooking the chicken deactivates the virus. But I'm, I want to reduce my chicken consumption. Um, but the girls, dogs, the girl dogs, they love chicken. And I don't think Goka can tolerate beef. But even then, it's still cow, still animal that can contract bird flu. And so, um, trying to figure out a way to reduce our consumption of chicken altogether. Even though my body, like, needs protein. And I don't know if tuna is safe, even though I read that, okay. Um, I read that tuna is cooked twice, which should also deactivate the virus. But then again, I'm not sure, because apparently people are not getting their farms tested or anything tested. Everything about testing is voluntary, and most people who should be getting tested are not. And, and... The U.S. has stopped requiring mandatory result reporting for COVID, so who knows if they're even going to care about bird flu. <sighs> so, you know, I'm just stressing out because I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to make sure my dogs are healthy. Um... And it really seems like nobody cares. I still mask whenever I go somewhere, except when I walk the dog. Which I'm even probably going to start masking when I walk the dog, because there are so many people out. And it's always so busy. Um, and yeah. So I'm stressing out about that. Did I say I got my hair cut? I know I mentioned that I look different, but yeah, I chopped it off. Um... So yeah, and Goka has a heart condition, which I give her meds for, um, but who knows. From what I've read so far, bird flu has been found in, like, milk, um, and it's been, the humans it's gone to have had most likely interaction with raw milk, which I mean is better for me, because we don't buy raw milk, um, as a matter of fact, even before these reports started coming out, we've been buying ultra pasteurized. But yeah. So I'm stressed about that. I'm stressed about money. Um, because I'm in credit card debt. But the good news is that I I'm getting my one of my old jobs back as a second job. So that way hopefully I can also make some extra money. And if all goes well, um then I'm hoping to be out of debt within like a year. Maybe? I think. Or close to it at least. Um, or at least, at least half of my debt. If all goes well, you know? Because the, the old job is teaching English. And so it's a very unstable job because most people study between like March and December or November at least here in Uruguay because that's when the regular school year is but I'd be teaching adults like I was because I'm not like a certified teacher I'm an instructor um so yeah and I mean, regardless, like, at least with this, we'd be able to pay our regular bills, and then with my mom's income, because she also teaches English, but for a different uh, institute, we'd be able to cover with both of that from the English teaching. If all goes well, then we'd be able to pay our regular bills, and, um, 
and food, hopefully, and like dog food and medication and stuff, hopefully. And then with my income from my current job, my main job, my regular job, the one that pays more, then I'd be able to pay the credit cards and loans. Well, loan, one loan, because I needed to get one to try and get by a couple months ago, which it helped, but also put us more in debt. Oh man, I hate credit cards. I mean, they are lifesavers, but they are also life takers. So yeah, that's what's going on so far. Um, I've been baking a lot. I've been making pound cake. Because I got bread loaf to make sandwich bread, and I did. I did make sandwich bread, and it was delicious. Um, it was so delicious that it only lasted like a few days. But at least now I know how to make bread. And then, because we have a muffin pan that's all rusty and gross, I was going to make muffins, but we don't have cupcake liners. So, I just used the bread pan to make pound cake using the muffin recipe. Which, it worked. It just takes a really long time to bake. Like an hour. Um, but yeah, all of it's been delicious. The last time I made bread, I used Splenda instead of sugar. That's a lot of birds. But at least those are alive. Um, but yeah. I've been baking. Everything's been good. The last time I used Splenda because I thought it needed to use sugar for yeast. And I read that, I read that Splenda works. But it just made the bread sweet, which I didn't really like. But my mom thought it was fine. It's like one of those Hawaiian rolls that are sweet. I didn't like it. But I ate it because it was it was there. And I'm not going to waste food. Um, put it And then... Yeah, that's everything so far. The girls have been playing a lot more, even Coca, like she's rejuvenated. Her and Roxy were playing tug of war. It's so funny, I'm gonna try and record it. Hold on, there's someone behind me, and I'm getting freaked out. What is that sound? I'm like a, I don't know, a bullfrog or something. Okay, oh, well, that's a bird. Which is also concerning. Okay. Hold on. We're back at home. I'm gonna switch out Coca for Roxy, and then we'll continue on our way to Vloggy Vlog. Alright, so I switched out Coca for Roxy. And I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, I think those are all the updates so far. I still think I'm dying. I always think I'm dying. But I've since noticed that the doctors don't care to get further information. You go and they're just like, here, take these drugs and be on your way. Oh, great mosquitoes. Um... And I just decided to stop going for now. Um, six months, I'm going to get my cholesterol tested and my thyroid tested. And I don't know what else. Just to see because, I mean, my thyroid was normal. But there's a, um, a nodule or a cyst or something. Just got to keep an eye on that to make sure it doesn't get bigger. Because if it does... Might mean something worse. Um, I think I've also reduced my meat consumption by a lot. But I need to exercise. Um, so that my good cholesterol can go up. My triglycerides go down. And my results have been really good lately. But then again, that's because I'm basically not eating. Well, now I am. But like before I've gotten the results... It was because my stomach was hurting, I didn't feel good, and so I don't eat when I don't feel good. And so my blood test came back fantastic. But now they're probably bad again. 
because I've been eating. Are you stuck on a branch? Okay, you let it go. And, yeah. But, I want my blood results to be good because I am eating normally, as I should, and exercising. That's honey. Okay. Well done. Some guy watching this. His dog. Or his dog is poopy. That's a red dog again. I'm like an orange cat. Hold on. Let me. I'm unfamiliar with this cat. I've never seen this cat before. And the spouse just went in there. The gray and white spouse. They're very cute. And so is your spouse. And here's Roxy. I take her for longer walks because she's bigger. And she doesn't have a heart condition. She also has so much energy. But she's so afraid to be outside. I'm like, we have run into a few scares, but nothing's happened. But, you know, she's terrified. She's scared of people and scared of dogs. Mama. See, she's watching the man. Mama. Hey, Roxy. Mama. What the hell's in now? <laughs> she's so scared. Mama. Hey. Vamos. A little scaredy cat. Which I get because our bigger dogs and here a lot of them are loose. But I'm here to protect her. We did have a few scares the other day and then the There was a dog that was very intense. He just wanted to play, but obviously she got scared because he came running up to us really fast. And I was getting in his way to make sure she's protected. Vinny, sentate. Sentate. Oh, mosquitoes. Muy bien, vamos. Mosquitoes here go crazy. Um, but yeah. Hold on, let me. Okay, you're back on me. Um, the mosquitoes here go crazy. It's humid. There's so many birds. <sighs> and you know, just trying to get her some nice exercise, even though, like, she's so anxious that she gets tired out anyways from the stress. And I'm not sure how to make her, like, enjoy these walks. Like, she loves staying in. She loves jumping on the bed. She loves playing around, fighting with Goka. Until, like, when they get a little too intense and then they start fighting for real. But, um, so far, that hasn't gotten as bad as before. I had to step in the middle and just yell at them and then they stop. And, uh, so now I don't end up bleeding. Um... Going up to the the park now. But, yeah, so far everything's been all right. Uh, but you know, the stresses of daily life and pre-pandemic and post-pandemic, you know. But yeah, that guy that had the dog. I think he was just a kid though. But of course, I think I am gonna have to start wearing a mask even when I walk the girls because. There are too many people out for me to feel safe. Mama, Mama. Sui. So yeah, that's... what's going on so far um for the weekend my plan 
is to actually, no, stay away from the poopy. For the weekend, my plan is to um, organize like the, the cabinets, the my dresser, the bathroom cabinet, and the kitchen cabinet because it's all a mess. I'm, I'm messy, but I have my own organized mess. So like, sure, I could just be shoving clothes into my dresser, but I shove them in their own section, like pants and shorts go in one section, tank tops and t-shirts in another, the sweaters and long sleeve shirts in another. And my mom's like, you always have a mess. And it's like, yeah, but it's my mess. And then she makes it even more messy by just shoving everything wherever. Oh. Oh, look, a kitty. Okay, I'm gonna finish this walk with Roxy so I can keep an eye out and be protective while she does her business. So, vlog later. Okay, so we are back home now. We've actually been back home for a while. Um, just chilling in bed on the laptop. The girls were in bed. I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to make myself um, some PB&J, which I've actually been into a lot recently, even though I never was until now. I think it's because the peanut butter I'm getting here is just straight up peanuts, um, which I'm not even really a fan of. I try and cover it in the blueberry jam that I have. Um, and it's been pretty, so it's been really good with the bread I make. But I don't have any right now, so I'm just using some salt and crackers. This is the um, peanut butter I use. It's a... Uh, the ingredients, all it says is peanuts. So, and then I use this jam jelly. Hold on. Where's the... This jam jelly thing, which is blueberry. And I really like it. Um... Yeah, that's what I've been using so far. So I'm going to make myself some mini cracker sandwiches with that to munch on. There are my little crackers. Just got to close them up while I try and do it with one hand. Here goes one. There goes the other one. Okay, nice. Okay. I put the peanut butter side on top so I get less of the flavor and more of the jam flavor. Feels like I put too much peanut butter. Oh well. Mustn't go to waste. Alright. Yeah. Look at these girls. Girly pops. Hello. Hello. OG mama. And the new the new member of the crew. My bearded ladies. No, my cranky mama. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Aren't they adults? And that one keeps stealing my socks. It's one of the reasons why I don't wear matching socks. They're so cute, aren't they? My babies. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry.